Believe it or not, malaria, a disease most of us only associate with the distant past or far-flung corners of the world, claims the life of a child every two minutes. An invisible predator, it lurks in the bite of a mosquito, ready to invade human bloodstreams and wreak havoc on our health. Malaria is not a new adversary, it has been a relentless foe for thousands of years, leaving a significant imprint on human history. From the ancient civilizations of Rome and Greece, where it was known as the Roman fever, to modern-day Africa, it has persistently claimed lives and devastated communities. In the grand narrative of human health, malaria has always played a prominent role. It begins with a single mosquito bite. The mosquito, acting as an unwitting courier, delivers the plasmodium parasite into the human bloodstream. Once inside, the parasite begins its destructive path, invading red blood cells and causing symptoms that range from fever and fatigue to severe organ damage and even death. But the impact of malaria extends far beyond the individual. It ripples out, touching every facet of a community. In many parts of the world, malaria is not just a health issue, it's an obstacle to development, a hindrance to education, and a barrier to economic prosperity. It keeps children out of school, adults out of work, and communities in a perpetual cycle of poverty and disease. Yet, despite the gravity of this situation, there is hope. For centuries, humanity has been locked in a battle with malaria, and this fight has led to some remarkable advancements. In the early 20th century, the discovery of the insecticide DDT and the anti-malarial drug chloroquine gave us our first real weapons against this disease. In more recent years, the development of insecticide-treated bed nets and the introduction of artemisinin-based combination therapies have revolutionized malaria prevention and treatment. But the fight is far from over. Even today in our world of advanced technology and medical breakthroughs, malaria remains a grim reality for many. It continues to cast a long, dark shadow over some of the world's most vulnerable communities. The battle against malaria is a collective one. It requires a global effort, a synergy of science, policy, and public awareness. It needs investment in research, education, and healthcare infrastructure. And it requires each of us to play our part. So, what can you do? Simple actions can make a big difference. Use insect repellent, sleep under a mosquito net if you're in a malaria-prone area, and support organizations that are working tirelessly to eradicate this disease. Remember, the fight against malaria is not just about saving lives. It's about improving quality of life, breaking the cycle of poverty, and building a healthier, more prosperous world for us all. So, join the fight. Your actions can help turn the tide in this age-old battle, bringing us one step closer to a world free of malaria.